Good morning, everybody. Welcome to South Wales. Welcome to the outskirts of Cardiff for uh, Norwich City's latest away day. It's Norwich City travelling to uh, inform, particularly at home, Cardiff City this afternoon. And uh, that, uh, that, that feeling that you get around Norwich City, that uh, horrible sense of dread has, uh, has, has come upon me. They are in abysmal form. One, one win in ten, um, four defeats on, on the spin. Not a good time or place to be an Norwich City fan. Um, and David Wagner under immense pressure, changes in terms of sporting director. It's been a busy old week and it culminates. Obviously, this is the final game before the November international break. So how Norwich City could do with a result just to change the mood and change the feeling. Uh, whether that will do that substantially enough or not, I'm not quite sure. But they need something from somewhere. And also there's the very real situation of the league table at the moment. They could do with just giving themselves a little bit breathing space um, over the next two weeks or so. So it's, it, it, it is a big afternoon for a multitude of reasons. And it's going to be fascinating to see how David Wagner approaches it. We're uh, going to be heading down for breakfast shortly then. Uh, it will be, I think we're about 20 minutes from the Cardiff City Stadium, really looking forward to that. Really like going visiting South Wales in general, but in particular, in particular Cardiff. So let's see what we let's see what we get, um, and hopefully this smile that I'm using now, mainly to uh, mask the dread that I'm feeling. Hopefully that's genuine um, come the end of the day. Look at this. Usually have dogs on the uh, on the old match day blocks. I've got a, a cat today in a hotel. There we go. Look, it's not just at Norwich City where the wheels have come off. There's a wheel off that, that lovely pink car. I'm not too sure on the uh, on the red bonnet, but uh, hopefully, like Norwich City, he regains his wheels in uh, in due course. With a big country tonight, which will go some way to to ticking the gig box. Yes, the gig box has to be ticked every single weekend. Just to let you know that um, you might not be able to see it on yours. I don't know what is. No way, oh, what am I seeing here? <laughs> Here we are then, the uh, team news for Norwich City is out, uh, three changes in the back four, um, Fashnacht in for Hernandez as well, so four changes in total for, for Norwich City, um, intriguing, very very interesting first start for Danny Bart, Callum Fisher recalled, Jaden Warner gets a, a second successive start um, and we shall see whether it will produce a different result for Norwich City this afternoon. It's um, it's a big afternoon and this is the setting of the Cardiff City Stadium. Uh, like this ground, just in that corner, the uh, Norwich City fans are beginning to filter their way in. As, as you can see up there, 33 minutes to the Let's see what we get today. A hat tip to all of those Norwich City fans who have made the very long journey. Hopefully they see a positive performance and result of course. Half time here at the Cardiff City Stadium. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, predictable. Norwich, uh, we had a good run. Norwich were ahead for a little while. Well worked corner to be fair. Gabriel Serra put the ball in. Kenny McGain flicks it on. Tapped in by Fashnak. Two really poor goals to concede in the space of four minutes. Just flips the scoreline around. Um, this man's next to me. It's, uh, it's not good, Paddy, is it? Uh, it's not good, Connor. No, more of the same, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, that is kind of a, a summation of where we hold that half, really. Probably not really massively shocking how it played out. Shemeswar uh, Poeta and, uh, and Callum Fisher have both struggled. Uh, and as I look down to the pitch now, as you can see, Dimi Yanoulis and Jack Stacey both warming up to come on in the second half. Not a surprise, really, given that's where the goals have come from. Um, 
yeah, it, and Cardiff could have had a penalty as well. And um, you know, I'm sure Cardiff fans watching this will, will agree it was probably a lackluster start, but two really well worked goals. Callum Robinson is is a bit, a bit of joy to watch, really, um, in, in in what he's done. But yeah, it's half time. Two on Cardiff. Wagner in the background doing his media and that over there is the away end that Norwich City fans watch their team win here 3-2. Uh, a remarkable comeback deserved I think actually in, in the context of the game and the way they pushed um, and just really a big sigh of relief for everybody because it's been a, a terrible run of form, it's been a really um, difficult period I think for everybody not least the supporters who have uh, had to endure what has been a really difficult time. So for them to get that moment, and uh, it will have meant a lot, I think, to, to those who, who, who made their way and to see a team commit and with the energy that they had, absolutely it does. Look, it doesn't, it doesn't change the facts around the situation. Norwich won two games in 10. They're still 16th in the championship. It, it won't, you know, and shouldn't be some great um, triumph, but it's a win and it's a win that they needed uh, absolutely so yeah look it's um it's a good day uh, scenes of Stuart Webber at the end and he will undoubtedly be pleased with what he saw and uh, and how it unfolded and the fact that that was his um, final game and it all tees us up for a very interesting international break where I suspect much of the discourse will be around that man David Wagner <laughs> 